This is a 1984 TRX 200. And I need to check the timing. We got it to crank over, we can spin it over. It's got lots of spark. And uh, when we spray fuel into the intake, it tries to fire kind of, it'll crank over faster, makes a puff puff noise, but doesn't actually fire up. So the next thing is either to check the compression, which we don't have a tool that will fit in the spark plug hole, or check the timing. So we'll check the timing here. And this is kind of a different machine than most Hondas. The pulse coils in here, which actually is convenient because when you pull the cap off, you can actually see the position of the, the cam without having to open up anything. And then to see the position on the flywheel, you got to turn this out and then you're going to look for a T. It'll be, it's, the flywheel is in set pretty far back. So you got to look at an angle and then spin it over and carefully spin it into, with a flashlight and see if you can't see that T. And then once you do that, look up here to see where this it's set on the uh, pulse coil and uh, see if they're both lined up at the same time. So I'm gonna open this up and uh, get started. Okay. So, as you can see, there's a line here and here. And so you're gonna turn the motor until this lines up. And then you're gonna look in the hole flashlight and you're gonna to look to see if you can see the T and the T should line up with that right there so you can just barely see the T there it is and you can see the end of the indicator and clearly this is not lined up so the timing chain has jumped a tooth. Well, once you get this cover off, it has a, a pulse coil on there. I think if I take these two bolts out, the sprocket will, I can be able, to, be able to slide the sprocket forward, get some slack and be able to move the chain. I'm gonna give that a shot. In order to get slack on the chain, you should back off the chain tensioner, and I think that's what this is. It was underneath a, a rubber piece. So I'm gonna spin that out, and hopefully that gives me, gives me the slack I need to move the chain around. That's lined up. Just make up the bottom of the T. So now that it's at top dead center, I can go and check the valves and see if the valve lash is good. To access the valves, to adjust them, you have to take these caps off. And then you gotta slide a feeler gauge in there, which is not easy. And I have to crack this loose because it's too tight. So 0 0.005 on the exhaust, 0 0.003 on the intake. The next step is to do a compression test. So we've ordered an adapter to fit into the spark plug hole. So who knows, maybe you'll see a video uh, after we do the compression test and figure out uh, what the next steps are.